Your Excellencies, as President of the Republic of Ghana and Co-Chair of the United Nations Eminent Group of Advocates for the Sustainable Development Goals, I'm delighted to participate in this historic Africa Adaptation Acceleration Summit. I thank the excellent President of the African Development Bank, Dr. Kuomi Adesina, for the invitation. Amid the existential threat posed by climate change, this summit comes at a time when Africa has faced one of, with one of its toughest challenges yet, the COVID-19 pandemic. There are challenges we must not only confront head on, but one from which we must also emerge victorious. It is vital that we are united in action and do all we can as soon as possible to save lives, restore livelihoods, and spur the growth of our economies. Whilst ensuring this, it is incumbent on all of us to help protect our countries from future health, economic, and climate shocks. In Ghana, we're committed to promoting climate adaptation action. And that is why we're pleased to be collaborating with the Global Center on Adaptation in close collaboration with the African Development Bank and pioneering solutions on how to build durable infrastructure and support, supporting African cities to guard against the impacts of climate change. We're also working with the private se sector and with the assistance of the Green Climate Fund to establish a multi-million dollar green fund to support our climate adaptation interventions. We expect these initiatives to deliver tangible progress towards Ghana's adaptation and development objectives. By laying the foundation now, we bestow to future generations stronger, safer, and healthier communities. Africa has done the least to cause climate change. And yet our people, especially our youths, will suffer its impact the most. I therefore call on all Africans to support and join the fight against climate change. And in doing so, we must also collectively and with one voice demand that the developed nations of the world responsible for this phenomenon, 76% of global emissions comes from the West that they make good on their promise of making available to the poorer nations of the world some 100 billions annually in climate finance, provide the requisite technology transfer to help us in the fight, and commit to, to debt for climate swap initiatives. It is imperative that as enshrined in the SDGs, we protect, restore, and promote sustainable use of terrestrial ecosystems, sustainably managed forests, combat desertification, halt and reverse land degradation, and halt biodiversity loss. I thank you for your attention.